A tense and heated meeting in Greenville focusing on race after a black man was assaulted by four white people. It happened St. Patrick's Day in Uptown after the victim, Patrick Myrick, allegedly punched a girl. He's now charged with assault on her. Three others charged with assault on Myrick, with a fourth still being sought. The incident also led to an ECU police officer being placed on leave tonight. The community got to weigh in, and our Josh Birch was there, joins us with the latest. Well, Ken, things got heated very quickly tonight as many in the community were calling for answers while city leaders were apologizing for miscommunication. We're here because a black man was brutally beaten by a group of white people. There's no reason at all, there's no excuse at all for an ECU alert not to have been sent out to every student on that campus. There's no excuse. Harsh words and very honest community members greeted ECU officials and Greenville police as race was discussed, all stemming from an incident St. Patrick's Day that ECU Chancellor Steve Ballard says race could have played a part in. However, Greenville Police Chief Mark Holtzman says they don't believe ethnic intimidation was in play. In this case, none of the facts supported that ethnic intimidation. One of the major questions many had. I found out about this on Facebook seven days after it took place. Many say the length of time it took to make the events public raised a lot of questions like whether officials were trying to hide something. Community members and Greenville leaders agree there was a breakdown in communication. City Council and our senior staff, um, we had a breakdown. There is a communication gap here and I think that we can do better. One way some think the community can do better is listen to the youth. Their concern was openly unanswered. While Chancellor Ballard was trying to answer another question, he was interrupted multiple times, prompting him to walk out. Thank you very much. We have a good evening. In the end, solutions offered for the problem included more minority officers and pressuring uptown bars to make everyone feel included. Now, one suspect is still wanted in this case. Chief Holtzman says he thinks we'll find out what the community is made of and see whether anyone will give that suspect up to police. Josh Birch, 9 in your side.